I'm just so happy that we finally have this vibe coding agent on PHP Storm. Here we go, avoid feelables. Are you guys ready? Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. Make me happy, Juni. Develop a very simple, with a very minimal UI, a to-do application without any auth that obey to the rules files under .juni. All right, chat, that's it. It's time to try Juni on the real stuff. Here we go. A to-do application without any auth. Let's go. So I really like the fact that they are detailing the plan and then also executing commands on the right. This is pretty cool. Brave mode allows Juni to execute terminal commands without confirmation. Use it with caution and at your own risk. All right, so he's opening the web.php file, you know, kind of understanding my application at the moment. Oh my God, it's already creating stuff. Oh my God. I want to leave the AI do its own stuff and then see how it goes. Okay, I'm seeing very cool things already. I'm seeing form requests being created, chat. This is promising. This is promising. Create to do request, delete to do request. Oh my God, this is very promising. The first thing he did is creating this migrations uh, file. So if I go here and type git status, for example, I get to see that we have a new migrations file. We have a to-do's table created by Juni with a title, which is exactly what I want. The description is a text, which is a very good thing in my opinion, because description, you know, it can be big. It can be big. We have a Boolean completed with default false. I'm not fan of default values on my migrations. We talked about that. Um, I understand that Juni didn't know that. So it's kind of something that I'm willing to forgive. You guys know, typically default values, I like to see them on my actions. That being said, the migration is validated, chat. What? Let's move now to my models to see which model did create. It created my todo.php file. My God, chat, look at this. He made all the property deal stuff. This is pretty cool. Okay, Juni was able to understand that I'm a big fan of this property attributes documentation, and he did all of this. This is pretty cool stuff, chat. Pretty cool stuff. 10, 10 out of 10, chat, already. Oh my god. I would technically do this, by the way. Okay, but not bad. Not bad, chat. Property read is very, 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 very good. Final classes kind of following the coding standards I love, which is pretty cool. It generated a factory at the same time for my to-do, which is absolutely awesome. He only added the completed as Boolean, which is interesting. Let me see. Let me see. Indeed, the Boolean, the completed is only cast needed here. So very good job. Chat, I don't know what you guys think. This model for me is validated. 10 out of 10. What do you think, chat? No feelable, because I don't I don't want feelables, dude. Literally on my on my coding standards.md, I told Juni, do not use feelables somewhere. Here we go. Avoid feelables. Factory. Let's see the factory. The factory, I'm very interested about the factory here. The factory situation. So oh my god, you use it generics as well. So good. Title is a sentence. Description is a paragraph and completed is a boolean. My god, so good. No migration down, that would be like also very good. Let me see. No migration down, chat. Oh my god, it's like my partner in my coding situation. All right, to do factory for me is validated. What do you guys think? For me, it's validated like 10 out of 10 as well. Very happy with this. Um, oh, what is this? Chat, he made the complete thing in the incomplete thing on my factory as well. <laughs> oh my god, so good. Let's jump to the actions. I'm very, but like very interesting to see how my action situation is. All right, let's see. Create a to-do action is something that creates a new to-do, accepts an array with a string in mixed. So here it didn't respect array shapes. This is something I think we can improve our .md file by saying use value objects or use DTOs. We talked about this like on the other stream that I'm willing to understand that actually DTOs can be really helpful here. So, um, you know, this is something that potentially could be better here, but still it's not too, totally bad. It's actually okay. So we have the handle method which accepts data and returns it to do. This is good, is using the query method. 
Oh my god, so good. I'm so I'm such a big fan of this query method. By the way, chat, do you typically use this or not? I'm always using this all the time. Do you use this as well? Do you typically use the query method? Because I'm such a big fan of this. So is using the data title, is using the description, if there is any, this is very interesting because on our migration, he made the description nullable. So he is able to understand that the description might not be there. This is approved as well for me. Completed, it might be there or not. And if not, the completed is false. Chat, this is a nine out of 10 for me, okay? That is one little thing I would have changed, which is the array shapes. And I have instructed Juni on my coding standards.md to use array shapes right here. Array shapes via PHP stand. So for me, this is a nine out of 10. What do you guys think? Let's see the delete to do action. Is this good? Yeah, just to do delete, that's it. We don't need this, JetBrains. We don't need this. Okay, this is literally something. Again, nine out of 10. Uh, this uh, parameter is actually not that great. We don't need this and we don't need. Yeah, and that's it, okay? But yeah, nine out of 10 for actions. What else do we have? We have the to-do controller. Um, I'm very excited to see this one. So let's type HTTP controllers to-do controller. What do we have here? So we have a final class to do control. All right, display listing of to do's. What do we have here? Public function index, which returns a blade view. I'm okay with that. To do's is a query latest get. This is good, actually fetching all of the to do's in a very minimal way. You guys remember, I literally ask Juni to be simple and minimalist. So I'm happy with this query, by the way. Then I return the view to do's index with a compact to do's. I kind of wish Juni didn't use the compact, okay? Compact is a very magical method in the PHP world. And honestly, you guys should avoid this at all costs, okay? That that wasn't good by Juni, okay? Juni, 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 I'm not happy with you, my friend. Huh? What you wanna do here is just be explicit and say something like this. To do's, bam, 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 to do's, that's it. Simple, clear, everyone understand what's happening here. You know what I mean? How is June versus the standard JetBrains AI assistant? Uh, much better, man, because he can actually run code, change code, he can literally go to the terminal. A thousand times better in my opinion. So create is returning a view, to do's create, I'm happy with this. My God, check this out, chat. We have a store method with a create to do request. And then we have the create to do action, which returns back a redirect response. I'm gonna call my action with the method handle and I'm gonna provide the request validated stuff. Shat, 10 out of 10 for PHP Storm Juni on this one. Oh my God. Chat, do you wanna see a very cool thing? Do you wanna see a very cool thing? Watch this out, watch this out. Instead of typing, instead of typing return, Redirect route. Just watch this Laravel magic. Just watch this. Bam, bam. To route. Isn't this fantastically cool? <laughs> yeah, this is literally a helper on Laravel that Taylor literally had. I'm going to tell you the, the, behind the, the behind the scenes of this helper, okay? So I don't know if you guys know. I think it's kind of a secret or it's not. At some point, Taylor Otwell was building at Laravel, not a product, but it's kind of some sort of POC or just a project to have fun, call it Beep, okay? And during the Beep creation, he had this helpers PHP file and that helpers PHP file had this to route, okay? And I told him, dude, can you please just send that stuff to the framework because that helper is just absolutely awesome. Oh my God. Developers, 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 developers. <laughs> All right, to-do controller, where do we have more? We have a show with a compact to-do. We told them that we don't like compact, but, but you know, not bad. We have an edit, which is perfect. And we have an update equally using actions. So update to-do request, receive the to-do with the model model, by, model, blah, 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 model route binding. And we have the action at the end. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We have the action with the validated stuff. Redirect to to do index with the success. And finally, we have the destroy equally using actions. Chat, this to do controller, in my opinion, right on the chat, what do you think? For me is an eight out of 10, okay? What 
do you guys think? I would go with 8 out of 10. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. I'm happy with this. Steno983 is saying 9 out of 10 because I want to see equally the form requests. Really? Let's see. Let's see. What do we have here? So to do, we have basically a final class create to do request, extends the form request, authorized through, I ask without any authentication. So I'm okay with that. Then we have the rules with ooh, required string maximum of 255. This is a very important thing, chef. A very important thing, and I'm happy that Juni was able to detect that the title can only and only be max of 255. However, we do have a problem on the description. Is missing a maximum right here, which is undeniably a problem because your database column may not actually handle the total size of any string, okay? Okay. So I'm happy with the create to do requests, uh, besides the maximum here missing. Uh, the nullables fields are actually pretty good stuff. What else we have? Let's type here, git statues. Um, we have views, which honestly, I don't think I care about them, do I? Let's see. I asked for a very minimal uh, front end. Let's see. I'm happy how the front end is organized though. Yeah, very basic blade code with Tailwind CSS. Very organized as well. Let's run this to see how it goes on the actual terminal. So I'm gonna type here PHP artisan serve and I'm gonna copy this link. So this is the result. Oh, wow. <laughs> Great job. Can you make the UI very fancy like Stripe? Is Stripe a Revolut? I cannot remember. Like Revolut? Make it really cool. So it's now engaging the UI to make it fancy look like Revolut, which is a new requirement indeed. It may take a while. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. It did run linting in tests to ensure compliance. So after doing the entire application, it effectively ran linting in tests to ensure compliance. This compliance was specified on my dot rules file. This is pretty cool stuff, by the way. Interesting. All right, it's almost there. It's editing the layout at the moment. Oh my God, chat. I don't know what you guys think. I'm just so happy that we finally have this vibe coding agent on PHP Storm. PHP Storm is like our partner, like everything in our life. And now we have literally vibe coding situation here on PHP Storm chat. So happy about that. Oh my God, I cannot wait to see the design at the very end. By the way, I don't really care if my vibe coding tool takes a little bit more than expected as long as it does a good job. Because what I feel is that it's even worse when you ask a vibe coding tool to do something and then it generates crap, you know? So what I really want is that just take the amount of time you need to think, but when you come back, just give me something that I really like or I really will like. It's almost over. I think it's over. Oh my God. Are you guys ready for the moment of true? Are you guys ready for the moment of true? Let's see, let's see, let's see. So do I need to compile me assets? I don't think I do, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's run npm run build. Bam, bam, bam. Eat the refresh button. Ooh, not bad. Task flow with the icon as well. Nice. Oh my God, really feels like a full app because he really focused on a full app. This is really cool stuff. This is really, really cool stuff. Chat, what do you think? All right, dudes, it's time to evaluate. For me, this is a 10 out of 10 vibe coding experience, honestly. 10 out of 10 vibe coding experience with Juni PHP Storm. With pretty much zero configuration, it did pretty much everything I wanted. It codes exactly like I want. It doesn't hallucinate. Very happy about this vibe coding assistant, okay? So honestly, starting today, I'm gonna use Juni for the rest of my life, okay? Journey for the win, my chat.